G'day, I'm Mr. Code. If you have done VEX IQ for any amount of time, then you may have encountered this exact problem. So the thumbstick here on my controller is stuck. It is not springing back into position like it should be. It works, but it's not going to be any good for driving. Now, if this happens to your IQ controller, then don't throw away your controller. I will show you how to solve this problem quickly and efficiently using my decades of experience fixing video game controllers. Now, I know you're in a hurry, so I'll even wreck my YouTube algorithm by making this video super short and cut to the chase. But if I help you fix even one controller, that's like me giving you $120. So make sure that you at least like and subscribe to my channel, okay? So I would really appreciate it. Now let's get back to fixing our controller. First thing you're gonna do is get yourself some tools. You're gonna need some needle nose pliers and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Flip our controller around to the back and then we're going to undo these screws over here. See all these uh, six holes, we're going to undo these screws. Once the main screws are out, we're going to open the battery compartment. Now we're going to remove the battery. So you put your finger into this groove at the side, remove the battery, and then there's one more screw uh, that we have to remove. Now we're going to remove the front plate, but uh, we're going to remove it uh, upside down like this because once it, you lift off the back, the buttons might fall out. So just carefully open it up like this. Okay. Here you can see all the buttons, they're all uh, loosely placed, so we'll just leave that to the side for now. And then here we can see our problem. So here we have one thumbstick on the left side that is working quite well, but on the right hand side you see how it is uh, shifted to the side. If you just look at it from uh, this angle over here, you see how one thumbstick is straight and then this other one is tilted off to the side. So what we want to do is we're going to pull off this thumbstick really carefully. And then you're going to notice over here, so here's the thumbstick, it's been removed. You'll notice that here, there is a, um, a little piece of metal where the thumbstick is supposed to be and it is bent out of shape. It has gone to the side. So all you have to do is use a set of pliers and then we have to uh, twist it uh, back into the center. So I'm just going to Bend it really carefully. And now the piece of metal is now back in the center. If you look at the bottom of your thumbstick, uh, there is a, a groove that fits onto the, um, uh, onto the piece of metal. Make sure it's aligned properly. Okay, still not super straight for me. I'm going to try one more time. Gotta make sure it's as straight as possible. And then when you're pushing back the, um, 
the thumbstick, we've got to make sure that it goes straight down. Yeah. All right. So we have now got this thumb stay, thumbstick pretty straight. Yep. Thumbstick is now pretty straight, just like the other one. And now we can reassemble our uh, our whole controller and test it out. All right, moment of truth. Let's flip it around and you can see our thumbstick is now completely repaired. And that's it. I have literally saved myself $120 or 80 US dollars. And be honest, how many broken controllers do you have and how much am I going to save you? Make sure you post it in the comments section below. And did you know that for a sixth of the price of a controller, you can join my YouTube membership, which has 269 hours worth of Scratch and Python coding lessons for your team. And you can learn things like how to build a choose your own adventure game with Python, or build a tycoon game in Scratch, and you can join with the control money you just saved and cancel anytime. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.